What's doing people? It's your boy Lawman here and welcome back to the channel. And on today's video, from the title you can read above, it's all about the Black Cement 3s. Now, um, the Black Cement 3s released a couple of weeks ago during All Star Weekend and finally I'm getting around to doing this video. So, um, if you like this video or you like my co content, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe, um, and yeah, comment down below what you think about this video. So without further ado, let's get into it right now. So I finally get around to doing this video. The reason why I had to wait for my pairs, and I got saying pairs, that is plural, um, to uh, finally arrive. Now, if you're wondering how many pairs I actually scored, this is how many pairs I scored. Here's one pair. Here's the second pair. This is... In this box here is pair number three. And in this box here is pair number four. That's right, kids. Four pairs of black cement threes. And you're like, Lawrence, you're being greedy. But how the hell did you go about getting it? Well, let's get into it. So pair number one. I actually scored this from um, Foot Locker's online website, footlocker.com.au. It was a midnight Saturday morning release at 12.01 a.m. on Saturday. They released a set of pairs or a, a a size run on their website, and I was able uh, I was able to click through quickly and got my first pair here. Now I'm gonna do a review of each pair. I'm gonna show you each thing. Now I don't have the box. Um, I don't have the box, but I uh, the packaging box. But it did come in a cardboard box. It was a bit flimsy, but it's okay. Here's a receipt and all and all the paperwork that came with it. And here is the shoe in question. Now, um, let's be honest, right? There has been a lot of complaints about the quality of the shoe, the the quality assurance on the shoe, and 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 things like that. And like, I'll be honest, right? This shoe is classic. It's iconic. It's it's you know, if you're if you're a sneakerhead and if you love your Jordans, you got to have this in your collection. I, you know, it it's something that. It for me it invokes a lot of memories of, of watching Jordan um, during the '88 season, and yeah, and the thing is, the biggest thing is what I love about the shoes that Nike executed the 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 concept perfectly, the way they did everything. So of course, the biggest one of the biggest things you'll notice the OG Nike Air um, heel heel tab on the rear. That's something that you know um, for for heads like me you gotta have it the other thing i was a bit worried about it was the sole and you've seen on previous soles they have you know the um uh, the jump man on it or jump oh, it's not the jump man it's actually just says jordan on the bottom and um i was a bit worried that they're going to do the exact same thing on earlier photos that i saw but i'm happy they did nike on the bottom so that's the biggest thing right there um as i said there are some quality issues and i'm going to take you through them each and every pair so as you can see here, you know, you can see the paint, and this is one of the biggest qualms that I have is the paint. Um, it's not as smooth and it's not as nice as it, as it could be. And I'm hoping the lining is giving it justice. Um, here's a good example, right here. You can just start to pick up the the paint is just on the actual uh, just on the actual um, on the actual leather right here. It's just a really poor paint job on this. Um, now let me get the other side of the shoe. Alright, another cool thing about it, of course, you got the Nike hang tag right there, which is like really cool. Um, yeah, so, so poor quality glue jobs right there as well. Which, again, you know, and right here as well. It, 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 so, so, when you're looking at the shoe, it's not as the best version that it can be. Like, again, another paint job right here. Um, yeah, it's... It frustrates me that, a sh like, they mass produce a shoe, which I understand, and but you know, I think it's a bit more. It should be a bit more. Um, there should be better quality control. Now that I'll put the pair like this. I think the tongues are okay. The the, the padding, line padding is all right. There's nothing wrong with the Nike Airs on the rear. Um, bottom sole looks okay. Got the Nike in, in, in the inside bit. This pair is not too bad. I think the paint, as I said, the midsole paint is going to be questionable. Now let's go into pair number two. 
Now pair number two is right here as I'm as I'm holding pair number one right here. Now pair number two, I was able to walk into Foot Locker, my local Foot Locker, at and I'm, I'm not going to disclose which Foot Locker it is, but I I was able to walk in at Foot Locker after church at about 10 a.m. and they had a few sizes left, which is quite surprising for this particular Foot Locker. Um, I would say um, everyone went to the larger retail uh, center to pick up a pair and basically this pair right here is pair number two um i guess the reason why you, you were thinking lawrence you, you just picked up a pair online how can you pick up a pair in store the reasoning is basically the Foot Locker online website was a bit questionable and it's a bit questionable and i, will, I was testing them out to see how if they ship properly um, if the pair came in okay, the box is damaged or anything like that, but it looks like it came in just fine. The the, the pair number one came in fine, so no. This is pair number two. Here's the receipt, just for for team purposes. Now, pair number two. You know, I'll say again, midsole is rubbish. Look, look at the paint job. Look at that. There's a scratch right there on the paint. What the hell? You know. Um, on, on this side right here. Um, the glue job in the midsole and the paint is actually a lot cleaner than um, what you saw on pair number one. All right, um, I'll grab the other side and we'll just do the exact same sort of comparisons. Um, here it is on the rear. Here it is on the sides. Here it is. Padding wise, I think the tongues look okay. Padding wise looks okay. Um, you know, and yeah, I think the biggest blemish on this shoe is that scratch paint right there, which is a bit annoying to say the least. Again, quality control on this shoe, on this particular shoe, is very, very questionable. But um, the pair that I pick up in store is probably so far. Um, not too bad in dust quality. So that's pair number two. Pair number one. Pair number two. Pair number three. Now it's in an end box. And the crazy thing is, I actually finally won a end launch raffle for a pair of shoes, which is a first, you know. Um, first of a lot of things. Now I put my name down a couple of days before launch. Um, as soon as they came up on, online, I just uh, I put my name down just in case footlocker.com.au failed and walking into store and that failed. This is win number three. And um, yeah, it cost me 294 ships. So it's 279 plus 25 shipping to get it here. So let's crack it open. We already know what it is. So we're just gonna crack it open. Cool thing about this, the way it was packaged, as you can see, you got this little nice envelope. And when you cracked open, when I cracked open the envelope, um, you get a nice end card um, right there, and it's a end delivered. And a guy named Paul, um, where's the lining? There you go. A guy named Paul actually um, got this pack for me, which is all well and good. Got a nice little end app feature, and then the actual receipt actual pick packing this now let's get into the shoe so pen number three um, let's crack it open um, of course with the labeling this is just to be just to be sure that you guys are getting the right thing there you go and let's get it in this pen number three here um, as you pick it up um, probably the cleanest pair out of all paint um, paint wise is not too bad actually yeah and then also what you'll notice as well what I notice on this pair right here you probably won't pick it up on camera I might take a still shot is the glue work right there it's seeped onto the elephant print here is the other side of the shoe as I look at it um, paint wise probably be the most cleanest paint job uh, a bit of scratching right there where my finger is um, yeah I would really consider getting the midsole repainted like to get a better finish on this that's just 
my genuine honest opinion on the shoe. Now again, I'll just put this side by side. There's the top with the, with the padding and the collars. Not too bad, it looks all centered. The leathers look pretty good on point. Um, it's the uh, soles right there, not too bad. And um, yeah, it's not not a not a bad version of the shoe. And and uh, yeah, that's pair number three. And finally, this is pair number four. And I actually scored this from Nike.com.au, which is the uh, international European international site that uh, we Australians get redirected to. And um, this particular pair will be different. And you're saying, Lawrence, you just showed three pairs of the exact same shoe. There is a difference. Trust, there is a difference. There's a box. There's a box right here. It looks a bit smaller because it's a seven and a half men's. That's right, read the label, it's a seven and a half. Now this particular pair, um, as I said, Nike.com they you I jumped on to their site at 7 p.m. for their e Saturday evening drop. Um, I assisted this pair for for how how you feel from how you feel. Um, basically, I said to him, "Yo, I secured just secured three pairs, and now um, I basically don't need to go to my last last resort." and let me help you out see if I can assist you. So this is his assist pair. Now I will say this, if you do watch his video and I'll put the card right up there for you guys to watch, how it how he unboxed his was how I received mine. So the, so so watch that video and then come back to mine, you'll see why. Now again, let's look at the quality of the shoe. Um, again, the midsole, like this, this right here really annoys me. The, the, the paint lines is so, unclean on this sh on this particular pair um as i said the the, the uh, if you watch this video the ring tag and everything was hanging off the shoe um yeah the paint job is just so like there's like this really squiggly line right there for the paint job let me go to the other pair yeah it's it's crazy but you know all right so let's do the size comparisons nike's looking correct um, look at the rear of it. Um, not not too shabby. Um, there it is. Basically, shoe as it is. Um, so yeah, so so I'm gonna send this pair off to Hal. Um, basically, um, so that he can do what he pleases with the shoe. I think he wanted a second pair just so that he can uh, keep in his collection and skate in one I believe that's what he was saying in his video but yeah like even this like there's a little like the stitching right here is a bit furry I don't know I yeah that that's that's four pairs that's four whole pairs of black cement threes in conclusion um yes I did score three more pairs than I really need to because I only really needed one pair of these black cement threes um two um was it very easy to pick up yes it was um if you tried hard enough and you sort of knew how to play the game like i do you were able to score a pair or pairs either in hand or shipped overseas three was the shoe concept executed properly absolutely i mean who doesn't want an og nike air on the bottom uh, on on the heel and Nike on the bottom and the Nike air inside on on the on the um on the sole insole and um, even the cut they the cut is one thing as well on the tongue as well on the on the toe box as well is really nice the leather the leathers on this for the most part feel nice it's nice I do like that grain look to it so you can rock it you can get the grain feel to it and all that kind of thing and, and it'll look good but was it um, but finally, was the quality of the shoe great? I think because they produced so many pairs, the, the quality control wasn't that great. I mean, as I said to you, as I said, you know, in the two pairs that I got from Foot Locker Australia online and thing, um, you know, we're talking about the paint quality on the midsole and I think that's one of the biggest things that um, I have a problem with, paint quality on the midsole. Um, um, 
and and even the packaging as i said the this the seven seven and a half men's was packaged incorrectly and 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 bits were flying out the other three pairs here actually the packaging was fine it survived the the the, the tongues are the same and all that um one thing i have noticed as well um from the end clothing pair and this pair so the end clothing european pair I got a manufacturing date of 7 1917. I don't know if that will pick it up, and I'll take screenshots of that. Whereas my pair, this this pair here, is 6 21 17 manufacturing date, and I'll take screenshots of that. And this one, 6 21 17, and the seven and a half here as well is 8 16 17. So so the manufacturing dates on the labels are very different as well. So something that you need to look out for, especially when you're doing a legit check on black on the 2018 black cement threes, there are different print uh, manufacturing dates on the tongue label, on the sizing label inside the shoe. So there's a little insider information for you. Now, as I said, am I going to keep my three size 11s? No, I'm only going to keep one pair, and I'm probably really going to keep the end clothing pair just because and this might sound stupid to finally win an end clothing raffle and I paid for shipping for this as well so I might as well keep that pair and the other two pairs though they are you know the quality as it is I will flip these not flip them but I will sell these on um, um, on onto people who need a size 11 so I'm gonna post this in my face in the Facebook groups that I'm involved in and so and, and so on and so forth this pair, the seven and a half men's, it's all going to go to, is going to go to Hal. Um, so I'm, I'm going to send that to him uh, basically next week. So um, overall, is this a great shoe? Did Jordan Brand do great um, by us, by customers, by everything else? To be honest with you, absolutely. I love it when it's OG everything. So the Black Cement 3 is something that... Um, yeah, it's something that should be revered, should be loved, should be in your sneaker collection. And if you can look past some of the quality issues from paint, from the finishing, some of the touches here and there, it's a great shoe. And and yeah, you should have this in your collection. If you're a sneaker collector, it, it's I think it's a staple. Um, in anyone's collection you should have a, a a retro jordan that that is an og colorway and it's just timeless it's classic and you know represent the game so there you have it the air jordan 3 black cement mega review done by your boy law man four different pairs from four different sources and um yeah i i, I try to get as detailed as i could in regards to the quality of the shoe now if you do like this video or you do like the content please give it a big thumbs up comment down below if uh, what you think about this video if you got the black cement 3 have you actually looked at the quality of the shoe um, also um, if you like the content give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to it already so without further ado I'm gonna end this video right now thanks for tuning in it's your boy lawman continue to cop stock and rock your kicks and we'll see you on another video, kids. Peace.